Okay, so let me preface this by saying that from the years 2015 to 2019, that there's been a 180% increase in overdose death rates from methamphetamine use disorder. Now, let me say this as well. Why I'm doing this video is because of what I just stated. And we're going to be covering again with this increase in meth use and they're predicting it to get even to continue to grow with everything that's went on recently. I mean, it's going to, I'm going to, I'm going to look at this from, um, it's believe it's called it's arc mental health. And it is essentially them going over what booty bumping is, what plugging meth is, because with an increase in meth use comes an increase in obviously more using it in different ways. So a lot of people are using booty bumping today because once again, they think it's not going to affect if it's not that it's that they're not that they're not going to be affected but that it looks better it's a safer route which technically it can be compared to things like injecting where you can develop a lot of different conditions um you know hep c prime example but let's go ahead and jump right on into this and leave a comment like and subscribe welcome all new subscribers so let's first start with this no matter how methamphetamine is taken or injected, it is always dangerous and very harmful. Each, each method of ingestion, including plugging, only adds its own particular risk to an already hazardous compulsive activity. So yes, regardless of how methamphetamine is used, it is always dangerous. This is essentially just stating, just because some people think that it's safer because you avoid things such as hep C, that once again it'll be easier to it'll be easier to hide yeah it, i won't show physically a lot of times that i'm a user especially just in general when they're using and not using so think of it from that perspective so let's go ahead and go into the next next aspect of this video in regards to the dangers of once again plugging meth so this is all according to arc behavioral health that the dangers of plugging meth our plugging has been associated with elevated risk of HIV or other STI transmission, including hepatitis C. So you still can get it, even though it might be a little low, your shot of getting it might be a little lower, you still can get it. So you're not out of the clear with that. Transmission may occur via anal sex or due to equipment sharing, then it has in parentheses often associated with chem sex encounters. Also, other risk of plugging meth include per, in the persistent diarrhea, torn or damaged rectal tissue, decreased blood circulation, absorption of toxic ingredients, which I'll talk a little bit about in a second, and elevated risk of overdose if the drug is more concentrated than normal or prepared improperly. And that's exactly what I'm getting at with rectal use is with an increase in overdose deaths in regards to meth use from 2015 to 2019, it did not discuss in the in the study, and I'll put the link, the, the routes. However, working in the setting, in a psychiatric setting, I've seen this multiple times where somebody, they will booty, they will booty bump, and essentially from there, or insert it via rectally, I mean like a, a crystal, literally, and them go psychotic. So I've seen this, which means as well, and I'm, you know, you're seeing it more and more. And it, and this is from the inner cities to the suburbs. It does, it doesn't, it doesn't discriminate. That's how mental health is. That's how drug, obviously, drug addictions, where they come from. Obviously, once again, it totally depends on the individual and their genetic set. But I go on that rant. Let me go back to this real quick. So. Remember when I remember one of the other risk of plugging meth include absorption of toxic ingredients cut into meth batches. That is very true. First off, from that from that perspective, yeah. However, it's being prepared. There's a a lot of times once again with methamphetamine preparation of it. There there are a lot like there are a lot of fires that happen. Like lab meth labs blow up. Once again, it is very Midwest is always very high in meth use. We are on the on the East Coast, West Virginia, and primar primarily they're more in. It's more heroin. It's a lot more heroin, but meth as well. But yes, yeah, so just develop. You know, getting very sick, you could be taking in toxic metals, 
depending on how it was repaired, you probably are taking them in. So that, that's just another aspect of it. So let's go and jump into another part of it, which is methamphetamine overdose. So let's first look at methamphetamine overdose. So meth overdoses put the central nervous system in overdrive a lot of the time, stressing the body to the point where organs and body functions break down and fail. Once again, according to ARC Behavioral Health. And also, unless great care is taken, rectal, administ rectal administration may increase the risk of overdose as, as much larger doses of drug can be taken this way. So chances of overdosing on this go up substantially when using it via rectally. Unless you're going in and, you're, and you are essentially making, you, you know, you, once again, you might think you know what you're doing, but it could, you know, once again, Unless you're testing, testing the meth and whatnot, it doesn't matter if you think you're doing it the right way. You don't know how potent that is. You don't know. That that's that's the whole that's the whole that's the whole thing I'm trying to make across as well with drug synthetic drugs in general, like things like meth, heroin, things like that. Is, that is, they're making it a lot more discreet these days. So. Regardless of how you take this in or how you consume of it, yes, there are higher chance there are higher chances of developing specific conditions with the route of administration, but it's danger it's extremely dangerous regardless of the way. Smoking, once again, long as every every route has 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 problems, but I like has specific issues like lung rectally once again we've already discussed some of the different ones injecting hiv um and hep c in particular but you can still get it through the like through rectal use but regardless just once again with this increase we are seeing right now and with the studies from 2015 to 2019 i believe we will continue to see an increase in not only methamphetamine deaths but also as well we will also see a lot more of rectal use with time. And one more point with this, one more massive point. No, there is still no approval of any medication or drug for, methamphet for methamphetamine use disorder. That's a whole other problem. That's why the I, I believe that, once again, in the study it even stated too, once you use it, how much, how easy it is to get hooked. And once you start using, getting off of it gets harder and harder and harder like anything. But then in the psych setting, in the inpatient psych setting, there's plenty of patients who come in for meth use, but there's no specific medication targeted for it. So we need more research. Sorry about that tangent. Let's go ahead. Also, I forgot to mention some overdose signs and symptoms of a methamphetamine overdose slash rectal use would be breathing difficulty, chest or stomach pain, higher chance of a of a heart attack, aneurysm, developing a pulmonary embolism, you name it. It's a lot higher anything cardiovascular wise because of how your heart is having to work and how your a lot of your vessels are constricting, making your heart work a lot harder. Also paranoia, rapid or irregular pulse. So once again, from a circulation and from a cardio, cardio uh, standpoint, it's always going to be affected because it's a stimulant. So your heart rate's going to go up. Everything's going to be a lot. You're going to feel a lot more jittery, things like that. That's what, once again, see a lot in the psych setting with methamphetamine use disorder. And sometimes when they're quitting as well, they've got a lot of muscle twitching, things like that. In summary, why I discuss these sometimes controversial topics or even things that are not something that you frequently hear about I do this to bring awareness to everyone and also just to raise awareness because now that there's an increase in meth use and it's going to continue more than likely, this is something that I've seen in the psychiatric setting. This is why I discuss it and it's happening more often than more often now and will continue to. So once again, it's to spread awareness to everyone out there. That's what these topics are about. Also real quick next week, I will, I mean, Next week, I'll be dropping part two to this, where I will be re I will be discussing once again. I'll be discussing methamphetamine addiction, the topic, and in particular the um, the some of the effects of plugging methamphetamine. So this is going to be a two part kind of thing. So I'm going to drop that sometime next week, and then on Sunday seven ten, 
I will be, no, Monday, 710. Monday is July 10th. I will be dropping my 60 days in uh, review from a mental health standpoint and in specific from a PTSD standpoint. So when these participants are leaving the show after being on 60 days in, if they make it the whole way or most of the way, any system like that, I could only imagine what it'd be like what, when you leave or if you've been in jail for multiple years and then you go back, you get out, where do you start? It's, you're, you know, you're in this, you're in a different type of setting for that long and then you're, all the stimulus comes back in, which could cause some mental health issues. Like and subscribe, I love you all. Thank you to all the new subscribers out there. Let's just continue to spread awareness. Like and subscribe, I love you all.